Dear students, in today's lecture, we will discuss about the organ culture. As you all know that there are different types of culture that include seed culture, embryo culture, meristem culture, protoplast culture, bird culture, callus culture, cell suspension culture. And there is also organ culture in, different, in which different types of organs are used basically for the process of or the for the initiation of a culture. If the organ is shoot, then in this case culture is known as the shoot tip culture. If that uh, organ is root, then na named as root culture. If that is uh, used, uh, if a leaf is used uh, for the culturing, then this process is known as leaf culture. And if uh, any part of flower is used for the process of culturing, then anther, ovary, or ovule is known as the cultures. So, in care, first of all, we'll discuss root culture as it is defined as the culture of excised radical tip of aseptical tips of aseptically germinated seeds in a liquid or solid medium where they are induced to grow independently under control conditions. Principle uh, which uh, work on this is the basically the in vivo plants are not suitable. Young seedlings are very sensitive to toxic uh, sterile and so the excised radical root tip uh, of the aseptically germinated seeds are used for the culturing. So here this is the pictorial view which is indicating basically the uh, uh, whole process of culturing through of the meristematic uh, of the root of a plant. This process is basically very important for the for understanding the carbohydrate metabolism, the role of mineral ions, vitamins, uh, etc. in root growth. This is also this also provides the information regarding the dependence of root on shoot for the growth hormones and also uh, important for studying the effect of various compounds on gro uh, root growth. Here is the root organ culture. Advantages of hairy root culture because these are genetically and biosynthetically stable and high production of secondary metabolites. If you want to uh, do a high production of secondary metabolites, then hairy root culture is very suitable for this process. This culture uh, can also grow under phytohormone free condition and culture show fast growth which reduces the culture time and can easily be handled. Other applications for the hairy root culture, this is basically used for the functional analysis of gene. This is also used for the study of nodulation of legumin, uh, leguminous roots in culture. If you want to study the production of secondary metabolites, then hairy root culture is used. This culture may also be used to change the compositions of metabolites and this also used to regenerate a whole plant and also for the secondary uh, for the initiation and development of secondary vascular tissues uh, various meta secondary metabolites uh, which uh, could be produced in the root culture first is the l dopa which is a precursor of uh, a hormone which is a very important neurotransmitter for the treatment of various parkinson disease Uh, shikonin is another uh, secondary metabolite which is used uh, through hairy root culture and this is basically used in antibacterial and anti-ulcer agents. Uh, he so here is the sum, uh, le list of some secondary metabolites which are basically produced through hairy uh, root culture. So, shoot apical meristem culture, as the root apical meristem culture, similar is the case with the shoot apical meristem culture of the terminal portion of the shoot comprising meristem together with the primordial and developing leaves and adjacent stem tissue is used for the shoot apical meristem culture. And this uh, principle of this uh, culture is that excised shoot tips and my stems can be cultured aseptically on agar solidified simple nutrient medium or on a paper bridge dip dip dipping in liquid medium with required auxin and cytokinins. So here is the basically uh, apical meristem portion which is basically used for the uh, tissue culturing. This is basically uh, the uh, flowchart which is indicating the process of uh, 
टिश्यू कल्चर वाया द शूट एपिकल मैरिज स्टेम एडवांटेजेस ऑफ दिस प्रोसीजर इज दिस बेसिकली प्रोड्यूस द वायरस फ्री जर्म प्लाजम एंड मैस प्रोडक्शन ऑफ डिजायरेबल जीनो टाइप इफ यू वॉन्ट टू अचीव दैन दिस प्रोसेस इज वेरी सो वेरी सूटेबल क्राया प्रिजर्वेशन कोल्ड स्टोरेज और इन विट्रो कंजर्वेशन ऑफ जर्म प्लाजम इफ यू वॉन्ट टू डू द क्राया प्रिजर्वेशन ऑफ द जर्म प्लाजम दैन दिस प्रोसेस इज वेरी सूटेबल This process is also very important for the virus eradication. If you want to do the micro propagation, then this process is very important. If you want to store the genetic resources, and if you want to overcome the abortive seeds or non-viable seeds, and if you also want to propagate of haploid plants and rejection of quarantine authority, avoid avoided this. However, this is very important for all these aspects. now is the flower culture uh, defined as aseptic culture of excised flower buds on a chemically defined nutrient medium where they continue their development to produce a full bloom in a culture vessels principle is that in this cultured at different stage of development and required a complex medium for the floral uh, culturing importance of this floral culture is basically this uh, is very important for the fundamental studies of development of the flower if you want to study the full process of the flower development then you can use this process and so flower uh, culture is very important for the if you want to study the uh, development of fruit and this uh, process is also very important if you want to study the pollin uh, culture of the pollinated flowers to study the fruit fruit development also uh, in vitro fruits are smaller than the natural their counterparts but size can be increased by, by supplementing the medium so and if you want to study the process of morphogenesis in the flower you then this flower culture is also very important next is the ovule culture a septic culture of the ovules which are isolated from the ovary and are grown in a defined nutrient medium under control conditions then this is known as the ovule culture in this case uh, 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 isolation is done which contains the egg cells and after fertilization single zygote formation leads to the embryo processing shoot and root primordia Here is the floral overview of the ovule culture. And this is a pictorial view is basically indicating that how ovules uh, are uh, ovules are used in the process of ovule culture. Why this process is important? If you want to study the test tube pollination and fertilization, then this ovule culture is very important. this is also uh, very important for the in the process of hybridization and if you want to produce haploid filled uh, cultures uh, callus through ovule culture then this ovule culture is very important is it is also very important in the orchid plants and if you want to poly embryo, embryo in the if you want to induce polyembryony by ovule, then you can do it through ovule culture then it is also a virus free culture